starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium in front of the classroom. Oh, neat! What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun surprise to you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses his brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It's fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Aww. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. She, her love language must be a quality time. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel... Makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you would understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> so sorry Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just started me, that's all. Sorry, I, sh I should have asked you to get it for me. Er, she's, she said that. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face! There are droplets of paint in Yuri's face and neck. Is there something? Er. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel. Then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, look at look at this! Oh my goodness! Here, here. Oh, we gotta get the narrative voice. <coughs> I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Oh man, the narrative voice is messed up my throat. Is something wrong? It's hot. It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into- er, she looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. She's reading me as a, like a book. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. Oh, what's she thinking about? She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fin fingers wrapped my my wrist, send a tin tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. You would be lightheaded if, uh, you're low on iron in your blood, if you're a cutter. It, it's fine. The, the moment is over as soon as it began, and I didn't need that special voice there. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it! I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, 
Not yet. They need to dry first. That's true. But won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then you have to bring it in the morning. We can do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew! <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Maybe a little bit. Uh, no, no it's not, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have an extra time by finishing the work. Well. Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there'd be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all our things, Yuri seems to be a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she really, she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. I'm sure that's it. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri picks up, once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. It's still daytime. Like, it looks like noon. She's gonna make dinner. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. Oh, this is me. No problem. I was glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Oh, that's her. Well then. Well, wrong voice again. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my word, Yuri simple smile simply smiles bashfully. Aww. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Big Papa. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Aww! She's giving me the squeezies. Whoa! Hi! I kind of like- Wow, why is the music got to cut out in weird spots? Kind of like that about you. Because now I have to hear my voice doing their voices. Normally, like, the music pumping into my ears, like, tunes me out. Now I have to hear my horrible voice acting. And I don't like hearing it. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, so as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Whoa! S Sayori! Sayori's here! Eh? Hi! Uh, hi, Big Papa. Sayori! Just now, we weren't... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, Big Papa. I just stopped by to say hi. Um... Well, it's nice to see you. Oh, that's wrong voice. I'm sorry, but I already... I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll be able to... But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Yuri waves goodbye after her. Yeah! Sayori's here. I'm so excited. Personal space, Yuri! <laughs> What are you doing? Me face kiss? Mwah. Face kiss. Alright. Sayori! I thought you didn't want to come over today. Haha, <laughs> well... I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. Oh, my heart. So I had to come over here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Yuri. Oh, she's gonna hurt my heart! And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Does it really? They've made such good friends. 
That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. No! I don't like hurting Sayori. Alright, I choose her. I choose Sayori. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Big Papa? I'm, not, I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Fuck! Ugh! I don't like it. Uh, you did it. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. No. No. Yeah, there you go. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Big Papa. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. Fuck! I hate this! No! Ah! That's not true. You wouldn't have to put up with me with being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Theory. Monica was right about what? No, we're not skipping over that. Tell me what... No. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would, wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Siri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Big Papa. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Oh, shit. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Big Papa. I like you so much that I want to die. Fuck. This is getting heavy! This was supposed to be a fun dating set thing, and now it's getting heavy. Make me do choices and feel things. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I slide my hand on Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I'd always know what's best for you? Which is a horrible thing to say. Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. A big hug. And that's what I'm going to give you. Fuck! No! Are you kidding? Oh, this is a horrible thing! Ugh. Okay, uh... This one's a fucked up thing to say. Holy shit. Although if I say this... These both have... Bad things with... Alright. This one's fucked up to say... In this situation right now. However, this one could be... Feasibly... Be taken as being manipulative. Or... Uh... I can't think of the word. Not manipulative, uh, a cop out kind of thing because one, if you say I love you in this situation like that, she either is going to believe that you love her the same way she loves you back, or you essentially say, Yeah, I love you, I've always loved you like my friend. You know, that's fucked up. Oh, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm gonna say I love her because I do love her, she's adorable, and I heckin love her, and I would totally be okay being with her. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have re realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day. Fuck. Uh, and now it's going to happen to Yuri. Now I'm going to have to deal with that drama. It helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. Yeah, because I was actually... I guess I'm gonna roll with that. Is I was more worried about her being at home when she left early than everyone else, so... Yeah, I guess I was... Yeah, we'll go with that. That's why I'll accept any, any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side, then I'll know we'll both be happy. Big Papa... 
Yes, hug. Hold her tight. Don't let her go. Sayuri so wraps her arms tightly around me. Ugh. That's not my hair color. That's not me. Why does it look like there's a look at the clouds in the top right? And there's like three little circles and a line going through them. It looks like something warp speed just <laughs> through the clouds. Big, big Papa. Man, she's tiny. Look at how small her arms are. Is this really okay? Yeah. I held Sayuri in my arms and pulled her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Big Papa. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? That's what depression does. They're not going away at all, Big Papa. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. Side by side, we got this together, girl. Let's go. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Tayeri and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Aw. Eh, what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things right now. Yeah, let's not throw the... The pressure on her. I want everything to be the same as it has always been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Oh, go at whatever pace suits you best. Yes. Hey, Big Papa. Terry gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. Fuck! What did I do? I messed up. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Oh, no. We need to go talk to a therapist. Yeah. That's a horrible thing. I do. That's a horrible thing to say. Fuck! That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, and I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be some doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori's the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh my god, I gotta save. Oh my god, guys. Jeez. That was a roller coaster. It saved, right? Jeez, dudes. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Hold on a minute. Check the files. Whoa! There's another file in here. Oh, there's another file. What is this? Happy thoughts with A and O with X's. Ah! What the fuck? The fuck is that? Oh, that's scary. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna share this with you guys. What the fuck? Uh, image. Uh, window capture. Let's just do that. Uh, image. I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't like this. This is creepy. Oh, it won't let me do it that way. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, delete. Uh, this is creepy, guys. I don't like this at all. Um, all right, let's get to this directory. Okay, now I'm starting to think this actually might be a horror game. This is in the fucking directory, guys. This is... 
Oh, you guys can't see me right now. That piece of garbage is in the directory. Also, oh yeah, that 